Now in this lesson we look at doing some factored equations. Now a quadratic equation is one in which the highest power of the pronumeral is 2. So these are all examples of quadratic equations where the first one you can see the highest power is x squared, okay, the squared. The next one again, the highest power is to the power of 2. And the next one there, 2x squared, the power, the highest power there is to the power of 2 again. So all of those examples of quadratic equations. Now the rule we're going to be dealing with is that if AB equals 0, then two solutions, A can equal 0 or B can equal 0. So an important idea there, so if a, b equals 0, in other words, two factors multiplying to give 0, then either a can equal 0 or b can equal 0. Now let's see through some examples what that all means. We're asked to solve the quadratic equations. In the first instance, x minus 3 times x plus 4 equals 0. Okay, well there's two factors, x minus 3 and x plus 4. They're multiplying to give 0. So we can look at the first factor, set that equal to 0. And the second factor, we write that equal to 0. So we have two equations there. The first equation, x minus 3 equals 0. We'll take the minus 3 across and therefore x equals positive 3. x plus 4 equals 0. The other equation, take the plus 4 over, becomes minus 4. So therefore, x equals negative 4. Our next example, 2x times x plus 5 equals 0. Again, there's our first factor we're considering, 2x equals to 0. Our other factor, x plus 5, so set that equal to 0 as well. Now solving that equation, 2 times what makes 0? Well, of course, x must equal 0 in that case. x plus 5 equals 0, to solve that, we'll take the plus 5 over, becomes minus 5. So therefore, x equals to negative 5. Now, a quadratic equation will usually have two different solutions. So you can see that first equation there, the solutions were x equals 3 and x equals minus 4. So there were two solutions. And then in our second equation, again, two different solutions. So that will often be the case. The third example, 3x plus 4 times 2x minus 1 equals 0. Let's solve that. Again, first factor, let that equal to 0. Set the second factor equal to 0 as well. Now solving this equation, a couple of steps this time. We need to take the positive 4 over, such that 3x equals to negative 4. And then to solve that, there's x as being times by 3. So we need to divide both sides by 3. We do that, and therefore we get that x equals negative 4 over 3. Our other equation, 2x minus 1 equals 0, take the minus 1 over, becomes positive 1. And if we have 2x equals to 1, we divide both sides by 2 and therefore get that x equals to 1 half. Excellent. So there are two solutions there. So just remember then, a quadratic equation will often have two different solutions.